it. I am headed to work and I am driving. Yes, I'm driving, but I'm being safe, don't worry. I'm about 20 miles an hour. Um, and I just wanted to it, uh, check in with you guys. I wanted to share something um, that happened for the first time. Oh, by the way, today's Thursday the 25th. I have to tell myself in the video, so just in case I don't upload just one day or multiple days, I know when to stop and <laughs> when to uh, go to the next day, um, just in case I forget. So that's why I'd say that. Um, and just to give you guys an idea of when I actually filmed the video. So um, yesterday for the first time, not only did I have one, but I had two people kind of look at me like, you look really nice today. And I'm like, well, first of all, I look nice every day, first of all. And they know I say that. But I think the, the thing that really caught me was they, someone, you know, they both said, you look thinner, <laughs> like from your face. And I was like, I do? I go, you know, I haven't, I haven't physically noticed. I've noticed a change, but I haven't noticed such a substantial change because, you know, it's still at the beginning process and sometimes it takes a few weeks, a lot of weeks. Um, but it felt really nice to kind of, have not that I need anyone's validation but it's an added bonus so I was like thanks like yeah I have actually <laughs> um, and keep in mind that although on the videos I've only lost about what did I start off with I've lost a total of um, I started off at 351 so almost 10 pounds um, in six weeks which is you know that's awesome um, I actually was heavier before I started filming so in real life in my everyday real life I've lost 22 pounds um, and people are just slowly starting to notice and that's kind of neat and you know um, and I thanked them and I said yeah I, you know and they asked me well, what are you doing and I'm well um, I'm filming myself <laughs> but no I, I I'm just like I am um, just eating better I'm trying to slowly increase my activity um, but most of I started with just making small changes and gradually building to more of a routine making smarter choices not going for seconds not serving myself 50 pounds of food you know um, and if I'm gonna have something fried here and there try not first try not to do it too often um, but if I am you know just a smaller piece just enough to um, you know to sustain the craving just just to okay I had it that's it I don't need it anymore and then I you know I said I've increased the amount of tea I drink like four cups of green tea every day honestly I think that's one of the things that just helped me uh, my lemon water is getting a little hard to do on a daily basis but I do um, add lemon to my tea and I've increased obviously my uh, intake something that I definitely really don't drink anymore is soda um, I had one soda for my um, baby niece's baby shower and that is about it I haven't had any since and I really only had one can and that was like enough it was sufficient it was um, enough for me to say okay I had a you know a can of soda and, and we're good and that's it and then for the rest of the day the day I just drink water um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys that you know sometimes things do take time and and I you know I've been pretty good at not being so hard on myself but, you know, I'm human, and you can't help but sometimes feel like, man, you know, like, why can't I just get it together? And I, <laughs> you know, I think my, I think about those kind of things sometimes, but it just takes time, and um, it's nice to have someone um, recognize the same thing. But even if someone hasn't told you that, it will come soon rather than later. And um, just, just be patient and just... Just stay true to you. Stay true to what you're doing and your commitment, whether someone tells you or not. But they will because they will slowly notice, especially because um, the two people I hadn't seen, one of them I really hadn't seen in a few weeks um, since we kind of uh, started and she just looked at me like, something's different. <laughs> and then so she's like, your face is starting to look a little smaller, you know? And so I just said, yeah, I've been losing weight. So that was kind of nice. It's the first time really since this whole thing has um, started and when you see yourself on a daily basis in the mirror, you don't notice the difference right away. Um, so, and even in film, like I film in so many different angles depending on what I'm doing that um, perhaps um, even when I'm watching back, I may not be noticing it. Um, but you know, other people will notice, and sometimes they may notice and just not say anything because you know everyone's so sensitive about 
everything nowadays. <laughs> um, so they may not notice anything, but um, they may not say anything. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm gonna get my day started. I've got work today. Um, I have a busy morning. I have a few projects that I need to do by like noon. <laughs> so I've gotta get on it. Um, and I'll catch you guys later. Oh my gosh I haven't done this in quite some time actually it is Thursday March hold on I got my turning on my my thing here my laptop um, I believe it's the 10th it's not showing up but I believe it's March 10th and I know it's been like two weeks that I haven't picked up my camera and that is because I initially had two exams on the same day and my classes are hard and I was just like, okay, I just gotta concentrate on this. And then as the weekend on, our school actually is going through a process called, if you're not aware, accreditation. And because I work there and I'm heavily involved, it just kind of the two just coincided and we're gonna end today. So um, it's just been like, go, 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 school, work, school, work, accreditation. It's It's been pretty hectic. And you know, I just, every time that I found myself, oh, maybe I can record today. I would just forget about it and and I, I honestly would um, I just have my phone in my bag and I just wouldn't even remember and honestly I hate doing like a two second recording at night when I finally remember like oh I should record something maybe I'll start now at uh, no so um, I've kind of I, I came to the realization that my schedule is not gonna change anytime soon I have a few more years to go for school and I kind of have to get over this like oh I'll just pick up the camera when it's not so busy because I'm always busy so I'm like the point of me doing the recording is to hold myself accountable and I haven't necessarily gained it anyway but I haven't continued to lose any either um, and I kind of was just like Lorena get back on track like come on you know get get it together um, so I've just gotta just gotta continue um, there may still be times where if I really do because for whatever reason I have like getting having my scheduled exams like the next one are in the same week again so um, I might take a few days here and there because I never ever ever want to feel pressured that I have to record a video that's not the purpose of me doing this but at the same time I really did miss it I really miss talking to you which in essence talking to myself and you know and kind of letting my feelings out and um 
because I don't, I mean, I see friends, but I don't see them on a daily basis or every other day because, you know, they also have busy lives and we'll catch up here and there and I'll talk to my family here and there. But the reality is, is this, the filming like every other day, at least for me, was really helpful because I felt like I had somebody to talk to and kind of see this is where I'm at today. And you know, was able to kind of just get it out in the moment, which is really helpful, especially when I do get busy. So it's a, it's a kind of a catch 22 where I have to, I find myself needing to record, but not having the time to do it. Um, or at least not making a little bit, maybe an extra effort to pick up the camera and just sit here and record. So that's what I wanted to do today. And I wanted to kind of get back on track. Um, I'm not going to do a weigh in this week only because, um, I really haven't been um, too focused on on making sure that I'm uh, really not strict, but but a little bit more conscious. I'm not over binging. I'm not, but at the same time, I'm not really really watching. You know, I'm still kind of my patterns of food eating are still pretty good, even though it's been so hectic. Like when I go and I buy something at the cafeteria, or I took my lunch the other day, I still try to you know, um, eat portion size and everything. So it's not, it's not horrible. I don't want you guys to think I went like left field with it, but I, I definitely can, um, you know, tighten it up and, you know, focus again and, and help me also kind of have more, a little bit more structure in my life <laughs> because I feel like everything's like, ah, right now. Um, so I really miss the camera and, um, uh, I like the sound of my own voice. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, no, I really miss talking it out, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I will, today I do not have school. I do have to go to work. And um, today is the last day that the team will be on my campus. And uh, this is going to be over pretty soon. So I'm going to finish getting ready. So I am ready to get my day started. As you can see, the face is now on. <laughs> So we are um, going to head out and we're going to drop off. Say hey. They haven't seen you in a long time. Are you really going to hide? <laughs> the people miss you probably. Hi. They probably miss you more than me. That's why they've been subscribing. They've been so that's why they've been subscribing. <laughs> oh, I've taught them so well. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to Oh, excuse me. We're going to drop Mr. CJ off at the bus stop correct oh yeah we should probably start heading there oh i might miss that one of them so i'm gonna go to the next one hey thanks for watching make sure to follow me on all my social media at i am lolo and don't forget to subscribe